All right, welcome everyone to the Coin Ledger demo video. We're going to be walking through how to use the platform from back to front, how to import your data and ultimately generate your tax reports, capital gains, losses, and income tax reports from your crypto transaction history and digital asset transaction history. <clears throat> so here we are in Coin Ledger. Essentially, we have to follow just four steps to generate our tax reports which is you know, importing all of our transaction history from all of the wallets and exchanges that we've used throughout our digital asset um, you know, lifetime. Then we're going to classify relevant deposits and withdrawals, review our data, and ultimately generate our tax reports based on all this historical transaction. So I have already imported some of my data, but I'm going to go ahead and add, you know, the other wallets and accounts that I've used that I need to import into Coin Ledger. So that's Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, and let's add another Ethereum wallet, which really, you know, allows for any wallet that's interacting with the Ethereum blockchain, whether it's MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, to import all of that on-chain activity. So for each different account, there's multiple different ways to import your transaction history. You can import a transaction history file and each option is going to provide you with instructions on the step-by-step -step process for that particular option. For example, if we connect via API import, we can go through and learn exactly how that process works through the support documentation here. But for Coinbase here, I'm gonna go ahead and sync up my Coinbase account, simply going to authenticate me into my Coinbase account and then, and then 2FA in. And we can see now it's importing my Coinbase transactions. Now we will let the import go. All right, perfect. And we can see success. 245 transactions have been imported and all of my Coinbase transaction history has been imported into the, my Coin Ledger account. Now, same works, of course, with something like Coinbase Pro, except we're going to have to link up our API via API key. And the same process now, it's importing all of my Coin, Coinbase Pro transaction history into my Coin Ledger account. Keep in mind that Coinbase and Coinbase Pro are two separate platforms that both need to be imported. Success, 203 transactions have been imported. Perfect, and I can see that all of my Coinbase Pro transaction history has now been pulled into my Coin Ledger account. All right, lastly, I'm going to import my MetaMask wallet that interacts with the Ethereum blockchain through right on-chain activity. This is like through interacting with DeFi protocols, or NFT marketplaces. So all I have to do is simply snag my public MetaMask wallet address, which can be grabbed right here, and then paste that right into CoinLedger. And this is going to call out to the Ethereum blockchain and pull in all of that transaction history and classify it um, appropriately to be pulled into my CoinLedger account. So here we can see that 13 you know, transactions from my MetaMask wallet have been pulled in. We can see the different DeFi protocols that some of these transactions interacted with um, and they're classified accordingly. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna rename this to my MetaMask wallet here. And so now I have that saved. This is my MetaMask wallet. So that's the process for importing data, right? It's fairly straightforward. We're gonna import all of our wallets and exchanges. Moving forward into the classify step. So the vast majority of deposits and withdrawals are able to be classified automatically when you link up your centralized exchanges and wallets into CoinLedger. But sometimes specific deposits and withdrawals need your input to properly, properly classify them into what they should be. For example, if you had a friend send you crypto as a gift, that simply looks like a deposit to your wallet, but you actually need to classify that further um, so that the proper tax implications can be applied. For example, let's say this deposit of Ethereum was actually a gift from a friend, or let's say it was actually staking income. 
or here's the gift. You know, for it's a gift, we can mark that as an incoming gift, or if it was staking, you know, we can mark that as staking, and then we should mark the deposit as such within Point Ledger. Now, I'm not going to do that because this was just a normal deposit, but um, for any transactions again where it's it can't be automatically inferred what the transaction was, it's important to properly classify it and tag it um, as the proper transaction. Now, just plain deposits are not treated as taxable, right? They're treated as self wallet transfers as if I transferred, you know, Ethereum from one wallet I own to another I own. And that's, of course, not taxable. And so this is why it's important to discern, um, you know, just normal deposit withdrawals from ones that actually have taxable implications. So here on the classified transactions, um, se section, we can see all of the transactions that I've already gone ahead and classified. And then we can see the actual tax implications of them. You know, payments are considered disposal of your crypto and they do trigger a capital gain tax event. Or interest income right here from BlockFi, interest income is considered taxable income at the time of receipt. So again, for the vast majority of users, all of your deposits and withdrawals are going to be tagged appropriately. But at times there's going to be needs for you to go and classify from your specific wallets further um, and classify those deposits and withdrawals as their proper um, classification. So that's what the classify step is for. Again, for me right now, I don't actually need to go in and do anything here. And so I can move on to the review step. So here we're on the review section and this aggregates all of your data from all of the wallets and exchanges that you've connected into a single pane. And you can filter based on platform, wallet, right? Um, here at Coinbase Pro, we can filter based on all transaction types that are imported. So let's look at all the trades from Coinbase Pro that I've done. We can drill into each transaction to see the exact accounting data behind all of these transactions. The basis for that Bitcoin, the fair market value at the time it was sold, right? My proceeds and the realized gain or loss from that transaction all in your local fiat currency. We can also see all of the fees that were applied to this transaction, all of the balance changes right here from, you know, Bitcoin being disposed of reduces my wallet balance. And here's my running balance now and adds GRT, um, you know, that was received. And so my GRT balance goes up. And so every single transaction is fully drillable um, from all of your platforms to make sure and to, you know, help track down that everything's being properly you know, accounted for and to help you track down all of your transactions and make sure everything is imported correctly. This can be filtered, you know, descending, ascending. We can go by date range, again, by specific platform or transaction type. We can switch between various views if we want to have a more granular view into the specific days that I was transacting. Um, the review screen is really just for your benefit to you know see all of that data and how it's being accounted for but of course the real magic happens then on the final step which is actually gener generating my capital gains losses and income from all of that transaction history that i've imported and here i'm in my 2021 tax report and i can see that you know I, i've booked almost thirteen thousand dollars of capital gains this year i can see when those were, were getting triggered as well as my total ordinary income right which is different than capital gains this is stuff like airdrops when i received the ens airdrop this is things like interest income from blockfi or DeFi protocols that you're generating yield from staking um all of this can be fully drilled into. So I can see, for example, my short-term capital gains, where, where were those gains coming from? Which assets were I disposing of? When? Um, and all of this can be drilled into. Same goes for your long-term gains, which are, have tax advantageous treatment. And then all of this can be downloaded into your appropriate IRS tax forms that can be included with your tax report. Or, you know, we export files that can be imported into your tax service of choice, TurboTax, Tax Act, H&R Block, Tax Layer, and more. Um, or you can simply add your accountant or your tax professional, right? If you have a, a tax guy who does your taxes for you, you can simply invite them to you know, grab your relevant tax forms through this portal here. And this will give, you know, an email out that invites your tax professional to send essentially snag your tax forms um, for the year, and they can then include that with your tax return. 
Um, that's really the platform from front to back, right? It's fairly straightforward, import all of your data, data, review it in one single spot. All of the hard work is done on the back end by Coin Ledger, and then simply generate generate your tax reports and track your portfolio with that data. Um, so that's all for now. If you have any questions about the platform, please feel free to reach out to our team. Um, but that's all for this video and hope that hopefully this was helpful.